In the last video, we talked about how to compile a data set about your skills, interests, and values. In this video, I'll talk about how to use your self-assessment information to begin the process of considering your career options. The second step of the MyADP process is intended to help you narrow your career options to one or two choices that are likely to provide the most satisfying and rewarding careers over the long term. Your career path matches can be found under Consider Career Fit, and My Career Path Matches. This list is simply 20 career path categories and 58 career titles that are common to PhD trained scientists. Your unique career path ranking is based on an algorithm developed from career experts who rated each of these career paths according to one, tasks you should be good at in order to be successful in that career, and two, tasks that are commonly performed by scientists working in each of these career paths. This list is useful for identifying careers you may not know much about. If you're learning about these careers, be sure to pay attention to the entire list. You're not limited to the top three, or even excluded from considering the bottom three. The point of this exercise is to think through and consider which career paths might provide a best match for your career-related skills, values, and interests. Going back to the Quick Tips page, if you're interested in learning more about how your self-assessment can inform your career planning, there's an article linked here. Now, gathering information to explore career options utilizes the same skills as research. If your PI asked you to learn a new technique, you'd search the literature, study the articles, and talk to people for insider tips. Similarly, to gather information about careers that interest you, you can read about them, attend events, or talk to people. Let's get started with Read About Careers. Under Resources, you can find the same list of career paths. Now let's just click on Science Education as an example. Each career path listed here is accompanied by a list of web-based resources. You'll find articles, books, and professional societies. Read through these resources for the career paths you're interested in or just want to learn more about. The My IDP tool tries to make career exploration interesting and easy at the reading level, but the best way to drill down and le learn more about any career is through personal interactions. So, you can attend events and talk to people. You can attend events such as career panels on your campus and conferences from scientific societies. You can even record notes from those events and keep track of who you talked with and distill what you've learned. Now finally, and most importantly, talk to people. Start by setting up a one-on-one -on -one informational interview. This is an information gathering meeting with someone who has already transitioned into a career you find interesting. Why is it important? Well, talking to them can challenge assumptions that you have about their career and you can find out more about their transitions. What prepared them? Did they have to take courses? work on special projects to become marketable for that career? Not sure how to get started? We'll view guidelines for conducting informational interviews here. View and download samples for email invitations and thank you notes. You can even print out a customized list of questions related to your top values. For example, if you listed creativity as really important value for you, then you could ask the sample question. In this field, how will you be able to be innovative? You can also keep notes about your career exploration activities here. These notes may be important to help you reflect on what you've learned. The great thing is you can have it all in one place. So you've explored a lot. With so many career options, how do you go from exploration to choosing a career path? Well, you could approach the choice through a systematic process of elimination. Use knowledge of your skills, interests, and values to eliminate careers that involve tasks you find boring and unpleasant. Instead, focus on careers that involve tasks you find engaging and enjoyable and that you're good at. Also choose careers that provide the rewards or outcomes you most want. Remember to refer to your assessments. Go ahead and go to choose a career path. Ultimately, your goal should be to identify a plan A and plan B and move forward. When you've made some commitment to a future career path, you can begin to build the skills for future success. Plus, my IDP users tell us that knowing what career path they want to pursue 
motivates them to finish their training. And remember, no career decision is forever. It's a first step. As Sheryl Sandberg writes in Lean In, careers are a jungle gym, not a ladder. Most people change jobs and even career paths a number of times, and science careers are no exception. No matter what your career ambitions are, try not to stall your career decision because you hope to choose the perfect career the first time. Make a decision, pursue it energetically, and see where it takes you. In the next video, we'll talk about setting SMART goals and making progress in your projects and career planning. Thanks for watching.